Welcome back, fellow milk drinkers, to yet another Monday Milk Review. Today, we're looking at a milk chosen by you, the milk drinkers. I put a poll up for some really weird, interesting soy milks, and you guys voted for the peach flavor. Thank you very much to everyone who got involved, but without further ado, let's start talking about this flavored milk. Now, as far as my research has indicated, this is a brand called Kiko Man. It's not English, as you may be able to guess by some of the characters on the front. It's actually a Japanese brand. I was first looking at it, and Kiko Man didn't ring any bells, but it sort of felt a little familiar. And then I realized I've actually got some Kiko Man soy sauce. So I started to do a little bit more research into their soy milk range. And it turns out just like sodas, Japan is the absolute king of flavor variety. So you might think, Oak has a really big range. Like you're seeing probably 10 or so in constant rotation. Um, that's kitty numbers because Japan is doing 20 plus. There's apparently 23 flavors of this soy milk. I don't even think I'd be able to find the names of all of these. Now, of course, if you're looking to try this for yourself, I really don't know how to recommend how to find it. I found it at a sunlit. It's completely up to luck if you're going to find these or not, because I haven't seen these at that store before and suddenly they have a massive stock of them. Let's also very quickly talk about the package design. They're super, super unique, but very, very uniform. I'm really loving the color palette seen in some of the extended range, but just the peach flavor in particular. Look at that gorgeous pink. It's so pretty and it's even got like a really cute little peach down the bottom. All of them sport this little picture on the top. I think that must be like a logo in sorts. So let's give it a quick shake before we get into it. There is no noise in there. This must be like packed tight. I don't even think we're gonna benefit from this shake much, to be honest. Now it does have a straw on the back, but that kind of only does so much for when you're trying to pour these out of a carton. I find the best way is to just pinch up a little corner and give it a little cut like so, and then we'll pour it into our glass. But before I do, color prediction, is it going to be pink? I really hope so, but I doubt it. Mm, a very, very bland white. As you can see, it kind of glugs out. That is kind of part and parcel of the problem of pouring from cartons. Ugh, that's why I hate doing it and why everyone should use bottles because they're so much more convenient for me. Let's give it a quick smell. Holy crap, that is so much peach. You wouldn't expect that flavor at all from a flavored milk, but this one seriously packs a punch and kind of dwarfs the white peach Fanta. The amount of odor just bellowing forth from this drink is really incredible. It almost is like I just stuffed my nose into a freshly bitten peach and just had a big inhale. Honestly, you have to experience this because I've never smelt something smell so authentic from an artificial flavoring. I assume it's artificial flavoring. I don't know, I can't read Japanese. Let's get into that flavor now. Okay, tangy is the word that I'd use. It's very upfront about that flavoring. It's certainly not hiding it whatsoever. I, wow, honestly, I can't taste milk in here at all. And that is kind of typical of your plant-based milk. This is soy milk. It kind of feels almost like I'm just drinking a juice. Of course, it's got that milky look, but it really doesn't feel like it. What really classifies this as milk other than a kind of smoothie? You know, like a soy milk is derived from plants and then you've got the flavoring which is probably derived from fruit. You're looking more at a smoothie than a flavored milk I feel. I honestly think that the flavor is way too confronting. It's so strong, it's so overwhelming that I don't know, that's a little too much for me. Don't get me wrong, I really do like peach flavored drinks but this one is just going way above and beyond and it's certainly not something I think I could finish. Now I forgot to talk about it earlier but if you're interested in the nutritions, I'm gonna put that up for you now. It is a very little carton. I'm going to assume this is 200 milliliters. It is. What a guess. Being 200 milliliters, it is of course one serving. But in terms of this flavor, I only think it can really be maybe a five out of 10. It just doesn't really suit any sort of boundary for a flavored milk, but that's perhaps because of this really almost alien flavor to see in milk. I really don't think I've ever seen another peach flavored milk before, but if I were to see it again, I'd really love to see a dairy approach. There's just an overwhelming quality to dairy that soy milk and other alternatives can't really approach. 
approach, you always know it's going to be an impersonation of something better when you're looking at these alternate milks. Do I think you, the viewer, should try it? I don't know. It's very interesting, but it's not something that I find enjoyable. If you do find this, give it a try and let me know, because I am absolutely blown away by how much power is in that flavor. But that about wraps us up for this week's episode of the Monday Milk Review. Thank you very much for watching. Please, if you've enjoyed, drop a like and maybe even consider subscribing. Don't forget to leave a comment on what of the other flavored milks I have in my roster that you'd like to see next. But with that all said and done, thank you once again, and I'll see you next week in the Monday Milk Review. Bye bye.